Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Carnival time. This cocktail was created by Rhiannon Enlil, and she's from New Orleans. In fact, although not originally from New Orleans, when she got to New Orleans, she basically spent the rest of her life, the rest of her life, wow. Okay, the rest of her life actually doing bartender and cocktail related things from mixology to even doing history. Truly fantastic. Now this cocktail is a unique shaken cocktail with a floated layer, so stay right till the end to see how it comes out. Now this is, as I said, a shaken cocktail, so make sure you have a shaking glass. Our first ingredient is going to be a little bit of lime juice. Now these limes are pretty hard, so, and if yours are, you wanna make sure you give them a really good roll just to kind of loosen up the inside membranes. And what we need to do, besides get a knife that actually cuts, is we're going to measure out one ounce or 30 milliliters and then pour that into the glass. Your second ingredient is to actually start balancing out the sourness we have with a little bit of sweetness. And for that, we're going to use a one-to-one -one simple syrup being one part water, one part sugar, heat it up till it's literally absolutely perfectly clear and you're good to go. It'll actually sit in the fridge for up to six months if you needed to, but I'd be surprised if it did. Now we do need for this a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. And your third ingredient is going to be a ginger syrup. Now this will continue to help us balance out the flavors here, but what it's also going to do is give us a little bit of zip, a little bit of spice. And of course I'm using a homemade ginger syrup and we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. And ginger syrup is almost exactly the same as a simple syrup. Now, depending upon how you choose to make it, there's a couple of different ways, but to make this version of it, it's just sugar, water, and ginger. You cook it until everything goes clear, then let it simmer for two to three minutes, and then let it sit, because you really wanna draw out that ginger flavor. Now, if you don't wanna actually just use a little bit of water, you could blend and then filter out the ginger to get the ginger juice. That'll give you a much stronger flavor. But again, you're gonna just go with the type of ginger syrup that you want. Now our next ingredient is green chartreuse, basically liquid gold. I love this stuff, hard to find, but we don't need a lot of it because we just wanna add a few herbal notes to this. We're going to use the same half an ounce or 15 mils. One of the things that actually makes this cocktail really unique also is the fact that Rhiannon decided to actually go with a base spirit of cachaca. I don't see it as in many cocktails because it has a nice slightly grassy vegetal flavor, but it's really smooth and easy to drink. And it's a great thing that you could actually substitute into some rum cocktails if you like. So we're going to use a total of 1.5 ounce or 45 mils. And when I also say that you could substitute this in for some silver rum cocktails, you have to remember that you're gonna get a different flavor. Um, again, all to your preference. Now, I really like this stuff. And if you've never tried this, try it first with a little bit of uh, caipirinha because it's just so simple and easy to drink. Um, and this one looks like it's going to be exactly the same. So what you wanna do is fill your glass about three quarters of the way with crushed ice. And what we're going to do is we're just going to shake this lightly for a good five seconds hard and do it with a smile. All right, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, put it off to the side. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to grab myself a rocks glass. I'm using a double rocks glass that's 12 ounces 360 milliliters of ice and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up almost all the way to the top right? and we're actually going to fine strain this well you don't have to fine strain it but we're going to strain it because i want to use fresh ice for this cocktail so grab yourself your hawthorne strainer Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. But now what we're going to do is we're gonna put the PS resistance on it, that beautiful red layer. Now for that, we need a red wine. Get something that's not too sugary or too sweet. I'm using a Castillo de Maddox. Um, use your favorite. And we don't need a lot because this is going to add subtle flavors as well as look. What we need is half an ounce or 15 mils and we'll gently layer it on top. 
that looks really, really nice. You are gonna get a slight bleed effect that'll happen, but it won't go too far. Now, what we are going to do is garnish this with a lime twist right here, so you have a beautiful picture. Give it a try. Oh, mm, really good. You get the red wine top, front and center, as you would expect, because it's right there. But however, the cachaca is light. You get slight hints of the ginger and a little bit of that lime all beautifully bended in. If you like beautiful layered cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right up here.